Hello guys, and this will be the final test for this Nakamichi Dragon I just assembled. So let's see how it's performed. So it's a valve and flutter tape. Uh, here is the results, speed 3153 and valve and flutter 0 0.0328. Seven. Okay, a little bit worse than on other than on my deck I had, but approximately the same as the other dragon I fixed it. So at this age it depends from capstan motors, from lubrication, from pinch rollers, from the capstan motor like shading, you see so those capstan shafts are made. Uh, it's, it's worn over time, so it will affect as well. But it's still pretty, pretty good results. It's uh, one of the best results I had so far. Now, let's check levels. Uh, okay, let's be just level here. Zeros on the front panel, zeros on the output. Okay, now installing the test tape. Here we have zeros. Uh, here we have zeros. Now reverse. Zeros and zeros. Good. So levels are there. Now I told you that frequency response is a little bit off. So I wouldn't be measuring it here. Let's do a recording test. Okay, turn on the X. Let's do calibration. Okay, just in levels. Bias. Okay. Have bias, have azimuth. Checking level. Okay, reset. I'm ready to record. And here are recording levels. Zeros, zeros, source, tape. A little bit off between channels, let's do source. Uh, adjusting like that. Good, now tape. Adjusting the key, we almost can see by this indicator. This difference which we can see on the computer. Okay, good, zeros. And let's see. Uh, let's tape plane, so tape equal, switching to minus 20. Uh, let's verify the bias. Just a little bit off. Okay, let's turn it. And let's check. Uh, that's our minus 20. White noise. No, that's what I, I saw. We tune it up on 10 kilohertz, and even if deck shows properly, the difference is still significant after 10 kilohertz. So the playback head is worn, and without correction, 
I cannot flatten up the frequency response here. But it still will sound okay. Like uh, this bump will be a little bit brighter, will compensate a little bit for this loss. But uh, without frequency response correction, I would not be able to fix it. Let's try to adjust uh, bias. See, I'm increasing and like all, all chart goes up. And on the low frequencies, it reduces. Okay. Can I get it better? Somewhere like that. Still not ideal. All right. And here is the level of recording. Here is the bias. Still can do a little bit better. Let's see again. That's what we get with our calibrated unit. Not ideal. Okay, let's check other tape types. Maybe it will get better a little bit. TDK SA. Let's do calibration. Okay, 15 kilohertz. Yeah, left channel is at maximum. Okay, now let's see how our recording will look like. So it looks a little bit better than a normal tape, as you may see, but still we have a bump and we have a fall down after 13 kilogears. All right. And let's try the metal tape. Let's calibrate. Okay. And bias. Let's see what you will get. A little bit better picture fall back after 15 kilohertz. After 15 kilohertz, it will record on metal tape. This deck would be ideal if I would have a way to replace playback head, but uh, it's, it's not possible to find so I can correct this using change in schematic but uh, owner declined this efforts so it will go as it is so you see everything looks perfect nice dragon but that's it thank you and see you in my next adventures. Bye-bye.